The records division at the Portland Police Bureau is where California transplant Amy Nidefer took a job in February of this year. She was beyond excited to be putting her criminal justice degree to good use. But almost immediately after taking the job, Amy got an itch. Reading the reports and seeing how much our officers do to help the community and connect them with resources and be there for them, uh, it totally changed my, um, like, my perspective on officers, and that really pushed me to be like, oh, I, I want to go out there and help too. So. In April, the 25-year-old applied to be an officer. She was hired and sworn in in August. In fact, this is video from Amy's swearing-in ceremony. Next month, she'll start months worth of training before hitting the streets that have seen unusual amounts of crime, including record levels of gun violence. I think for me, just being here when it's tough, you know, when we're having a tough time and trying to help them and help the community get out of that, being part of that healing process is so fulfilling. Yeah. Echoing that sentiment is Trey Jackson, who is joining the police bureau at the young age of 21. The Portland native tells us he applied last December and was hired and sworn in in July, mm -hmm. adding that he might not have chosen this career if not for the school resource officer at his elementary school. He, um, he used to show me his car, let me go through, he gave me stickers every day. He's a really good guy and then when I turned 15 he told me to start thinking about the cadet program because he knew that I've always wanted to be a police officer. Trey and Amy make up two of the 89 officers currently training to join a bureau that finds itself in the middle of a staffing crisis. As of November 29th, the bureau has less than 800 sworn members. That's down considerably from the more than 1,000 sworn members back in 2019. We desperately want to have more police officers. Sergeant Trevor Tyler, who spent a year and a half in the Bureau's personnel division, says hiring officers is no easy task. Just look at what happened in 2021. We know that 675 people applied to be a Portland police officer, but only 27 people were hired. Sergeant Tyler says a lack of background checkers is one explanation. But he adds that some applicants might be disqualified for things like recent marijuana use or a poor driving record. You can't be a driver if you've had three moving violations in three years per our city insurance policy. Uh, we, we don't want to have high risk drivers because it's such a big uh, uh, part of our job. All of that said, Sergeant Tyler says the Bureau is working its way out of the staffing crisis. And for proof, look no further than the recent hires who aren't phased by the current climate in the Rose City. Nowadays, the city's not as clean or as safe as it used to be. And I think that it's going to take a group of professional, tough-minded individuals to really, you know, take it back and make it a better place. I understand some people have left because it it, it's a tough time and there's no, there's no secret to that. Um, but the people that are here, they love their jobs. That is the most amazing and incredible thing about this bureau. And playing into the staffing crisis is the time it takes to train new hires. Take Amy Nidefer, for instance. She's been officially hired. She's about to start Academy, but it might not be until this time next year she's working the streets on her own.